Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priya Sipaha. Today we are going to discuss force and criminal force in the Indian Penal Code. So let's start. Let's understand the meaning of force. Force has been described under section 349 of IPC, which states that if any person is using a motion towards any other person, out of which another person's body is affecting, that comes under force. Now this has been described under three category. First is if a person is making or using any motion to affect the body of another person. Second is if any person is using a motion to seize the action of another person. That means again the another person's body is affecting. And third is if any person is using a substance to seize the motion or to affect the body of another person then also it's come, it comes under the category of force. Let's understand these things with an example. Now first is if any friend is not attending an important class and if you want to make your friend to attend the important class and if you are holding his hand and taking him with the force to attend the class then this comes under simple force because you are using a motion out of which another person body is affecting. Now second example is if your friend is going to that place where he is not supposed to go and if you are stopping or seizing his action to move to that place then also it comes under the category of force. Now third is if in the classroom if any professor is teaching and if one student is not paying attention just to make that student attentive if that professor throw a chalk to that person and out of if we get the student is getting hit by that chalk his body is affected and he started paying attention to the class then also a motion is used with the help of the substance then it comes under the category of force in all these things there is no guilty intention the only intention is or the only action is the one person is using a bodily power either to make another person body to make a, any action on another if it's that particular action is seizing the action of another person body or if any person is using any substance then it comes under simple force. Now next is criminal force. Criminal force has been described under section 350 of IPC which states that if there is a force or if there is a motion which is by one person towards another person out of which another person's body is affecting but that motion is with a guilty intention. Here the guilty intention is either to cause an injury to that person or if a person is causing any sort of action which is likely to cause an injury. Thirdly, if the action or the force has been made to make another person in fear or annoyance, then it comes under the category of criminal force because here the person is causing any sort of injury with a guilty intention and for that the another person's consent is not there. That means it is criminal force. Now again let's understand these things with the help of the example. Now first is if the person is using a force, a simple motion just to cause with an intention, with a guilty intention to cause a fear or annoyance and to give a injury to another person. Here if with the intention to outrage the modesty of a woman if any person pulls a woman's veil then it comes under the category of criminal force. Similarly if the example of using a substance. Now using a substance means if any person is going for bathing. Now if to just to give the injury to that person who is going for bath then if, an, if another person is keeping a boiling water in the bathroom just to make the injury, just to make a burn to another person, that also come under the category of criminal force. Now, if 
the third example is is if any person is inciting his dog to bark or to make another person annoyed or to make injury with the help of his dog to another person that also comes under the category of criminal force which is described under section 350 of ipc that means basically if any person is using any sort of motion or a force towards any other person without his consent with a guilty intention to cause an injury or any action which is likely to cause an injury or to make that person in fear or in annoyance that comes under the category of criminal force now the punishment for criminal force although section 352 deals with the punishment of assault and criminal force both assault i will explain in a separate video as far as criminal force is concerned if any person is causing a criminal force towards any another person to cause injury then the punishment which is mentioned under section 352 is for imprisonment for 3 months or with a fine which may extend to 500 rupees or both now here grave and sudden provocation will not mitigate the punishment for an offence under this section how if that particular provocation is used for a voluntary provoked by an by the offender as an excuse for the offence or if the provocation is given by anything done in obedience to the law or by the public servant in the lawful exercise of the power of such public servant or if the provocation is given by anything done in a lawful exercise of the right of private defense then there won't be any punishment that means grave or sudden provocation by any government officer or for doing any such duty which is prescribed by law or by the grave and sudden provocation comes under exceptions so that is all about the difference between force and criminal force hope you understand the difference between the two and if you like the video please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel if you want a detailed notes you may visit to my website that is priyasapaha.com in my website i am also inviting the submission of blog the details of submission of blog is in the website you may visit the website that is priyasapaha.com for the submission of blog you all are welcome to write a legal and contemporary issue for the blog secondly you may also follow us in the different social media platform that is fb page law colloquy linkedin law colloquy instagram law colloquy twitter dr priya sepaha and youtube dr priya sepaha hope you like the video thank you for watching see you soon bye bye